Do y'all hear that? I've heard something whispering. There's a voice. Well, hey, Buck, how are you? What? You saw me polish up that old knife the other day. Yeah? And you're jealous. I am jealous. You've only been with me over 40 years. What's the matter? I hadn't cleaned you up in a long time. Yeah, you need a little bit of work. What? Okay, I'll clean you up and polish you too. Sorry I don't carry you a lot anymore. I have lost my mind. Alright, a little history on this knife here. I have had this one for more than 40 years. Mama actually bought me this knife just before we got married. Buck 110 USA, original sheath. It's one of the only things that has survived the years of things we have been through. Moving, military, tornadoes, hurricanes. Floods, everything else that we've had to deal with. But, I found it. I just thought I would uh, clean it up right quick. I don't want to get involved too heavy in anything right now. This morning we have a severe weather outbreak almost on us. There's a tornado warning over in Mobile, Alabama right now, which is not far from here. So uh, um, we're ready to run or do whatever we got to do. All right, just like I did on that Sologen. Got the inside cleaned up. Now this is, over years, this one, the scales have shrunk just a little bit. Now I could go in there with custom scales, but I don't want to go to all that. I'll just uh, polish it up. Now, I carried this when I was in the Army a lot, especially in the field. But you can see what I'm doing. Just making sure there's no jump trap down in there. I even got in trouble for carrying it one time because it was not authorized equipment. Stupid little butter bar lieutenant, but uh, that's all right. Now, that's clean. I'm going to go to the buffer just like I did on the other one. Just clean it up. The blade, you can tell on this one, is worn considerably for the years of use and sharpening. But uh, we'll polish it up a little bit, and I think I'll even re-dye the sheath and condition it. And then maybe you'll stop whispering at me. That okay with you? Yeah, it'll be all right. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Nice and cleaned up. It's uh, sharped. Got my burr right there. I knocked that burr off. And point out uh, this file I used the other day, and this is all I use this file for, is this type of thing. It's almost slick, it's almost wore out. So uh, it's not biting into the material. It just helps knock that edge off. You know, one guy was confused at uh, why would I cut it again with a rough file with this route. It's not rough. It's very, very slick. It's like a but the butcher steel analogy I used. Like that. And we'll put it down on the strop. I just want to make sure it stays sharp. I'm not going to carry this and use it a lot anymore. I 
and that should be plenty plenty fine right there there we go get a little cleaner rag here oh forgot all about the camera down there we go there we go all cleaned up Now, all right, Buck, I'm going to paint your house. Is that okay? Use some black dye. What? I know that's U.S. Marine Corps black. I don't have any U.S. Army black. Uh, Marines are people, too. They're good people, too. So you just be quiet or I won't do it at all. All right. I think I need to get out more. All right, let's just run us some uh, little bit of dye on here. I brushed it off a little bit with a brush. And I cannot dye anything or do anything without getting it all over me. Just like painting. See there now I'm getting it all over the table. Once this dries good, I'll put some uh, a good coat of mink oil on it. Just protect that leather. Get that around all the cracks. I'm getting on that snap, that's okay, because that will uh, that'll wipe off when it dries. Hit the edges. Well, I got it on me anyway. Might as well hold on to it. Buck knives are a very good quality knife. They have been for years and years and years. I was really disappointed that they went to China a while back. But I believe the last I heard they had moved part of their operation back to, where is it, Utah? I believe it's Utah. I've had two of the Buck lights, the new Buck lights, I still got one somewhere. I don't remember where I put it. One, I know exactly where it's at. At the bottom of the river. Because I knocked it off the boat. That's why I don't carry knives like this on the boat with me. And I shouldn't have had that one, but... It's not lost, because I know where it's at. It's in front of about 20 feet of water. And probably 10 feet of mud by now. But, uh... <laughs> There we go. I'm going to hang this up and let it dry very, very well. And, like I said, a little mink oil and we'd be all done. And uh, I won't show all that because that's just easy stuff to do. But, oh, quit yelling at me. I know I got dye all over my hands. You'll be fine. There we go. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. And if you got a knife that talks to you like this one, that needs to be worked on, let me know. See you later.
Are you happy now? Everything all right? A clean knife is a happy knife. 